miał na mojej PC ma overheat permy. I think we are almost done with the game on hardcore difficulty. As you see my stats are fucking over the roof. Wait, I think this is status point threshold, so... Ideally... We should be able to increase stamina. We need to compensate above threshold to hold it. I'm just trying to get final stats in a manageable state. By the way, I notice how barrel the exploits are doing it at this point. Like, uh, we will get fight uh, in a shoot movie to get to cult uh, fight, and from here we will simply you know, continue game. Fire, just hoping it will be an Okay, this is the final. I think 21 is the limit, but we take steroids. Hey, Barely. Oh, hey, this training system is trash. Trash, trash. Uh, barely acceptable. Almost, almost. Good, I'm done. Okay, now, now the real keeper. Right. You see, 
Nothing to hold you. Just be insanely strong. It sucks that we still do ninja film. We did pirates, we did aliens. I just wanted to point out how smooth it gets for his two ninjas. That is very nice. Well, he literally returned my damage in 20 That was fucking pain. That was close line counter. No mimic, of course. Return zero damage, this is not mimic. Mimic itself is insane, but this mimic dodges are worthless because when you dodge, uh, damage you receive is zero. So mimic, uh, uh, mimic dodge reflects zero damage. And this gives you an out time for calp fight. A professional chief uh, in this game is sadly worthless, so... We eat this exclusively for HP. And this land us comfortable in the spot. Not only lock us for our dexterity, but later get Rice Eater, which will further increase development. But yeah, for now we can title fight. We have max HP. And he have absolutely no fucking chance. Like, I don't know how to explain this to you. I will just let's feast it for itself, but I train very hard. I am now official world champion. This gives me achievement, which I didn't have before. Just Open Steam, yes, this is what I want to open. Yes, okay, champion, fine. You've proven yourself to be a great warrior, are you ready for final challenge? It's not like you have a choice. We could fight one final time with silver. I'll throw a lot of gifts into a wife. I probably should do that. You know. Welcome to my island. So these are the missing achievements. Hardcore and fight your brother. I already beat this ninja, if you go gun growth you fight ninja. I'm ready to prove you wrong. And let the fight begin. Uh, I don't need to tell you, but he absolutely cannot fucking win shit. By the way, I didn't recover HP. Best of brothers. 
All of this doesn't have to be killer father and now it's time for revenge revenge. Pierce, let me tell you a story. Best of brothers, okay, and hardcore achievement left. Imagine if now something would fucking quit out my game, corrupted my save or something like this. Holy hell. I wish you could skip. But yeah, I, I get the story by the way. Uh, so, shit happened between your grandfather and some other guy, I think. And the man in black is uh, as a result your father, and he was fighting the guy with medallion to get it back and then split it in half because he was thinking only his sons can fucking hold the medallion. Half of the medallion get in hands of punch club. Other, ha uh, other half was in the hand of bad brother. Yeah. 93 days spent. Yeah, uh, thank you Lazy Game for making good game. Sadly, all your other games sucks dick. And well, that would be it. End of the run. It was fun. Man, uh, man, Bertie run. I. So this is the Steam, and I have all the achievements. Uh, all of them. Wait, we'll fucking view all my achievements on stream or recording. I'm not trying to flex, I just have achievement from both punch clubs. All of them. Uh, honestly, punch club 2 is so easy with achievements, I was kind of upset. Where the fuck is punch club 2? Where the fuck is... Actually, I need to start using search. Hey, so... You know, this is punch club, I have all 47 achievements. This is punch club 2. I have all 66 achievements. So Punch Club 2 is much easier with achievements than Punch Club 1. However, it's still a drag. Uh, Punch Club 2 is much worse game as well, but I personally... Uh, as mobile game, I think I would like Punch Club 2 better, but Punch Club 1 have better strategies, uh, better like... Uh, so in Punch Club 1, you can basically unlock a hard, like a progress to way of the turtle from Beer by Hook and for, uh, for Tiger from Turtle uh, with Backhand Punch. And this allows you to make like uh, hybrid builds much easier because at least game accommodate to this. You also in Turtle, if you go for Stamina Lock, this is like special road where you go bottom line to lock stamina 13 you unlock power punch which allow you to later easier get shining knight uh, which is good because shining knight reduce damage it. i probably should fucking demonstrate it uh, in the build menu so let's just fucking load shit. Mm, that's, uh, fuck uh, we need to switch window oh yes you are so fucking problematic this punch club. Don't worry, it will capture the screen. Will, I take all their save, but that was also good boy road, I think. Actually, we can check story. Yeah, this is where I didn't get fluffy. It was first part where I did achievement run, I think. Yeah, I had to skip a lot, and the ninja slayer gang road. Anyway, what I mean in turtle. When you get this, you unlock Power Punch, which is this, and this allows you to easier get to Shining Knight, when also locking your Stamina 13, which is very powerful, because uh, locking Stamina 13 allows you to focus on other statistics. And also here, this, Back High Punch, is here. It allows you to go Rice Eater and uh, Tiger, so you don't need this. 
This is unlocked by order, I didn't get this. I get it from Haiki. I think here, this replace Haiki. Uh, so, reason why I go here is for full head later, and here I get for control and fury, which wasn't that necessary, but it's kind of good. Because when you HP drop low, control and fury allow you to like take control of the situation. It's not perfect, it's just something. Uh, honestly, if you ask me about hybrid builds, uh, Turtle Tiger is terrible. It was absolutely fucking atrocious to play this. I don't like it. Demoralize is only fucking good factor. Man Bear Pig is uh, perfect. I will show you Man Bear Pig uh, powers because... Okay, I know here stats, my, my stats are to the moon. I don't, don't care. M mine focus on Man Bear Pig. Is here you get ruthless aggression, which make your dodges and blocks impossible to use. And now you go turtle, and you get suicide attack, which make your dodges and block worse. But since you cannot use them anyway, why bother? And you save energy on attacks. Okay. And since, since you also go here to lock your stamina, also infinite energy just in case, also pain lower, also danger train. So danger train is not worth it for you, it, you just, it just um, waste the means. Shiny Knight is what you get. Yeah, muscle his me is kind of good because at least get somewhere. So demoralize amplify your uh, stamina and your shining knight harder. A cool head allow you to when you get blocked. Your other strike will cost less. It's zero. It, it's useless. It's normally worthless. So you take it last. However, it's important to point out that this is still upgrade. Take last is not, uh, you know, not take at all. It's still something that you take. Which is significant. And there is also optional shit. You take hook to unlock high punch to get the uh, easier way to here. Because you can you can buy high punch, but then you don't get hook. And if you get hook, you get high punch and hook. You can also alternatively get this to get high punch. Uh, but this is, in my opinion, extremely inefficient because uh, nobody uses sidestep. Nobody uses diehard. Uh, diehard is also something you don't take. I took it because I had no idea where to spend points. I literally took this because I had no idea where to spend points and also this 21 would not fucking grind itself with all this. As for uh, base 3, a long timer is useful. Even if uh, most of the things here uh, doesn't stick very long, like all the positive effects you give yourself doesn't really work for you, like triple punch may work. Uh, where is any positive effect we can give ourselves? Uh, Unconditional. I mostly, uh, you know, put stake in unconditional effects that works always, rather than conditional. Also, don't take no rest because uh, uh, you and the enemy regenerate less energy. Cool. But this is, uh, make you more vulnerable than your enemy. I don't know how to explain this shit. Uh, it's just cheaper to dodge or block a pack than, than the use of it. And uh, as a result, when you, especially if you wanna take control of the fight, which you wanna do most likely. Uh, you wanna take attacks, you wanna take initiative, you wanna do attacks. So you don't wanna be reflected, but more worst are dodges. Uh, blocks 
are painful, but you know, I rarely see someone blocking. Also, I kind of wonder if there is any good move. If there is Iron Curtain, this is like best block in the game, right? Yeah, I think Iron Curtain is the best block in the game. I never saw any, any NPC enemy use it. It's always dodges. As for the Punch Club one, it's a great game, I love it. I just don't like use, uh, playing it as much. Uh, Exhauster is kind of good, it's just not something you would prefer. So modifier you take, triple punch. Close light boxing and triple punch you take this tree. From this tree. So yeah, this entire tree, you take only three things from it, uh, which is a lot by the way. Because uh, no other tree give you as much. Close line boxing triple. From here you take suicide attack and I think energizer, yeah, you take energizer to leverage your energy. And strategy is that you punch enemy so hard that their energy decreases for some reason. So it has good synergy with Excalibur, but energizer also have a synergy with suicidal attack. And I think that's it, this explains the fineness of Manver Pig. You just leverage, it's strength focused build, it's built on strength, you will feel it goes strength. But you need to understand the power of Boxer. You literally go to lock tier 10, and put lock, lock 8 and the Boxer is fine too. Hook, counter, cross, boxing, jump seat. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, it doesn't say that it increases... Uh, it, it says it increases cross, uh, cross point, right? Counter cross point. It doesn't say it uh, improves uh, this. Cross punch, but it does, right? I mean, cross punch for me they'll deal titanic damage and is very accurate. It stated it increased boxing punch, boxing jab series, which doesn't have accuracy at all, counter cross, and boxing hook, which also don't have accuracy at all. So, I, I don't need to tell you why we use Boxing Punch and Close Line exclusively as our only attacking moves, right? This, these are only moves that hit. Like, this is not hitting. I mean, okay, this is actually hitting, but <laughs> this is not hitting. <laughs> like, there is no, not many attack that land. This is not something you can hit. This is not something you wanna fucking trust. Like, 48? What? Uh, eventually, in Turtle, there is one attack you can use instead, Baron Strike, which hit enemy, but as you see, energy cost is worse. But this is attack that actually hit enemy, and let me see if anything here. Yeah, this actually hit enemy, but look at energy cost, you don't wanna use it. That's fucking hell, you never wanna use it, it costs 30 energy to deal 30 damage. Uh, attacks like this, uh, you never should use any attacks like this. And this is also too stupid to use this spear. And so it sounds good uh, because it costs nothing, right? Like right? nothing. But look, look at this thing. It makes everything cost nothing. So why bother with speed? You waste the fucking move slot for garbage. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was say, kind of insightful. Have a good day.